Hi, my name is Minnie Calloise. I'm a personal trainer and a yoga teacher and based in Melbourne, Australia, but originally from New Zealand. Um, funnily enough, I'm actually sending this video for Travel for Culture from Italy at the moment. That's where I am, so exploring a new part of the world. Normally though, I'm a big fan of Asia, so I want to talk to you about Asia and why I love it so much. The first place I ever went in Asia was Thailand because to me I saw it as safe but I saw some adventure there and I loved the culture and how it was going to be so different. The spiritual background and everything in Koh Phangan, the full moon party, that's why most people kind of end up going there. I've been to Koh Phangan seven times and I go there a lot more now for the yoga kind of culture there and the spirituality and there's a whole lot of fitness stuff that you can do in Koh Phangan as well. It's just the balance of the culture, I think, because you're staying on an island and you get to experience like everything that an island can give you. The weather is amazing, the people are friendly, uh, you can hire a scooter and you can get around the island, you can go hiking one day, you can be um, snorkeling or scuba diving the next day in the neighbouring island Koh Tao, which is one of the best places for snorkeling and scuba diving in the world. You can get your um, paddy licence there as well. There's a lot of yoga and detox retreats there too. So one of my favourite highlights from Copenhagen is a little yoga and detox place called Orion. You have the option to do like a juice detox, so you think you're having your juices every day, or to do the full detox, which is with um, like full colon cleanse as well. It's pretty full on, um, and it's very tiring and very draining, and you go through this range of emotions and all of that, but you have a very strict routine, and you have your yoga every morning, and then you have your drinks if you're taking the drinks at certain times of the day and it's a really good chance to mentally detox as well as physically detox so if you've been traveling for a while and you want to sort of reset before you go home then I would highly recommend it which is actually what I'm doing this time. My best piece of advice is not to book things in too far in advance. Asia is normally pretty cheap and it's pretty easy to travel through, especially Thailand which I think is a great first place for everyone to go because it's so easy to get around. Um, with most of the buses, the trains, even the flights, you can book last minute and you can still get a pretty good fare. The reason I say book last minute is just because you can go to a place and you can love it or you hate it and if you hate it and you've booked seven days there then you're going to just regret spending that time there but I mean like you could book three nights somewhere else and really absolutely love it and wish that you had spent more time there so just keep keep your schedule a little bit open so you can be open to the experiences that you might enjoy or that you might appreciate that might come your way